lovelies. So this is the morning that my gorgeous friend Maria is coming to take photos of me in the studio. I've managed to get the family packed off and out the door and I've got to put my makeup on. Studio is kind of ready. It's clean, it's tidy, it's pretty. So yeah, I'm just putting my makeup on and I thought oh, I might as well like be doing this with you guys and tell you, I don't know, start the day with you, I suppose. Um, which is super awkward because I'm not like a beauty channel. I'm not used to doing this, but what the hell? Hey, this is the process. This is what you got to do. So the deal is with the photos that I want to get some beautiful images to use on my website, my social media, and any and all marketing that I'm going to be doing in the future. I don't want to use selfies for everything or try to take the pictures and be in them. I want to hire a great photographer and give my images that extra level of professionalism. I want photos that truly reflect me, my studio and my process of creating. I don't think that I can do that by myself and I don't believe that you should do everything yourself. It's professional to hire someone who's really great at their job. Now, there were a few things that I did do to prepare for this shoot. Firstly, I made sure that I love the style of my photographer. Maria takes a natural, almost documentary style image, and that suits me well. I can't do anything that is too staged for this because it wouldn't work with my style of communicating. So if you're thinking of getting a photographer, I urge you to do your research and find someone whose style you know really works with you and what you're looking for. The next thing I did was to search and collect images, photographs of artists in their studios. And these were images that I resonated with and that were similar to how I work so that we could use these pictures as reference and inspiration for our own photo shoot. I put these photos together on a Pinterest board, which I shared with Maria, the photographer, and she was also able to add her own images and ideas to that Pinterest board. Because working with a photographer is a collaboration. You work together to come up with something that is hopefully authentic and beautiful. Next, I also created a very basic shot list. Just to make sure we covered everything we needed, um, I knew that I would need shots, for example, with me on one side and a lot of space on the other side to add text on top when I'm using those photos online. I wanted wide angle shots, mid shots, profile shots, and close ups of me painting. And just writing that all down on paper, making sure it's on a list so that you can always refer to it. Because in the heat of the moment, when you're in the studio and you're getting your photos taken, it's easy to forget things and you don't get a second chance. Guys, I'm getting my shoot done now. Look, this is Maria, Maria. <laughs> this is Maria from Zen Photography. And look, she helped me to make my studio even more beautiful. And we've been taking lots of photos and doing outfit changes. The next thing I did was I prepared three different outfits to wear because you want this photo session to be able to give you content that you can use for months or the next year to come. You don't want every photo you post up to be you wearing the same outfit. So I prepared three different outfits and I tried to make sure that each one complemented the colors that I will be using on my website, which are my brand colors. Now this was really fun and a good excuse to do a little bit of online shopping. I personally feel that during the shoot, you wanna look great but you also still want to feel like you. You don't want to be anyone that you're not. It's like in terms of makeup. Yes, I'm putting on makeup, but I'm not going the whole hog and doing the full face of heavy, heavy makeup because that's not what I do. If that's who you are and that's what you love to do on a regular basis, then yes, you should totally do that, but it's not me. So I'm not going to do that for my photo shoot. Lastly, I prepared my studio. I had a style in mind that I was trying to create a bright, beautiful studio filled with plants and I did my best to stick with this style because that's how I like my studio to be anyway bright and filled with plants I just wanted to up the level a bit for the photo shoot and I even took reference photos of the kind of studio I was after to the flower market to chat with the flower lady when choosing extra plants to fill the room with so you see I really did put 
thought and consideration into this shoot. And because we were well prepared, Maria and I managed to have a beautiful collaboration going on. We talked a lot and laughed a lot. And once I put my apron on and started painting, it really was just me at home in my studio doing what I love to do. And it was natural and it was fun. So it's been about a week since the photo shoot as I have now received all of the pictures back from Maria, as you can see. And I just wanted to say that I absolutely love how they turned out. And I feel like Maria, yes, she took photos of me that actually look nice. But more than that, I feel like she, she captured my spirit, you know, like I'm really there in those pictures. All the sides of me are visible and I love that. I really do. Also, I feel that she brought my studio to life in the pictures because it's really just a suburban bedroom. That's all. But when I'm here and I'm working in it, it's my studio. And that's how it feels when I look at it in the pictures. So I'm so grateful that this studio has its own character and its own life in the photos. I absolutely love the, the pictures, as I've said, and I just kind of wanted to say that even though they were for my business, they were for work, I feel like they were a beautiful way to celebrate my 40th year because I turned 40 this year. It's a milestone, guys. And those pictures, they really mean something to me more than just, hey, look at me, I'm painting, but this is me, I'm 40, I'm doing my thing. And yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm so glad that I did it. And I hope that this video can be of assistance to anybody else who's planning on getting some photos taken of them in their happy place, in their space, doing their thing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.